Hi, I'm Moon Pillow. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, I'm really excited to be here. Thank you so much to April and everyone else for setting these up. Um, please donate to the charity if you haven't already. Uh, needle exchanges, safe injection sites, and carrying Narcan are very, very important. Um, these first two are originally poems written by Diane De Prima, who is a really important beat poet who passed away after living a very full life last October.
will wilt in late October, I'll do it, do it all over. I will wilt in late October, I'll do it again, do it all over.
now. tape coming out soon on Forgotten Kyle Records. Uh, I have um, some new merch that's going to go up pretty soon, so keep your eyes out for that. Uh, this next one was written about my friend's dog. Inside 
and I can't hear my name without hearing it in your voice. I miss you and I can't feel the stars pulling us upwards and I hope that we burn up in the stratosphere and I And I can't hear my name without hearing it in your voice. I miss you. Thanks. This one's a new one.
no one but the sky. Last song. I gave a quiet smile to my friend and I told them it's too sunny. I don't think it's ever been too sunny in that town. I don't think there's ever been too much of that light that washes the soft spots of my rotten walls and awakens me. I don't think there's ever been too much of that glow that washes my face and cleans me more than any chemical ever could. I don't think there's ever been too many of those beams, never too many silver linings, never too many sunsets on cloudy days. Never too much. No, it's never been too sunny in Olympia, Washington, but I say it is anyways. Because I want a reason. I want an excuse to never smile at the world. I want to be okay with dim walls and cracked ceilings. I want an answer to my troubles. And so I accuse the earth of scorching me in sunbeams and drowning me in puddles. But these are just lies. 
I villainized this planet, cursed its names more times than I can remember, and in response it does nothing but smile back at me. It shares me, it shapes me, it is me. And so I owe this planet an apology. I owe myself an apology. I may not know the reason for my sorrows, but I know I can no longer blame them on false demons and abiotic angers. I weep between raindrops, avoiding them like broken glass and cigarette burns when all they want to do is wash me clean. I spit at the sun when it burns my flesh and blinds my eyes when it's just trying to dry my tear damn face. I have been screaming at trees and clouds while avoiding mirrors, afraid to see what I've turned into. This world is not a hostile planet. I have been a hostile person. And if I want to become different, I need to become new. My change is internal. My change is eternal. So I'll drink the rain.